Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to J.J. Gaming, and welcome back to your boy Jay. Yes, the last episode we uh, almost died, <laughs> and this episode it's time to uh, <laughs> we're not going to dive into any creepy caves. We're going to travel to the the Brotherhood bunker. Uh, let's see, we could walk from Helios One, I guess. Nah, I'm just gonna fast travel. It's fine. This it, it is what usually happens. I uh, spent the first ti first uh, couple of hours in the game saying, oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fast travel too much, but you know, especially if it's a route I've already taken, which this is, uh, I uh, still tend to, uh, tend, to, tend to sort of loosen on that, uh, sort of become a bit, uh, bit less, uh, less strict on that uh, later. Let's put on our Naughty Nightwear. <coughs> so we have uh, 100 speech. And let's uh, turn in this pulse gun, Veronica. I wonder what the elder will think. I don't think he will be convinced, but let's see. I mean, I haven't even really looked at this thing. Can we? Uh, can we look at it? Pulse thing. Pulse gun. Mm, are we not holding it? Maybe it's a quest item. Uh, misc. Quest. Snow globe. Or is um, is Veronica holding it? Are you holding that pulse gun, uh, Veronica? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Gun, 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 gun. Hmm. Okay. Don't know where it is. <laughs> I guess we have it on a, on us somewhere, but uh, I don't know where. Doesn't matter. Let's get down to the bunker. And Jay is gonna try and smooth talk his way out of uh, out of trouble again, and hopefully uh, this will end. The uh, the quest that we have with Veronica. Uh, actually, thinking of thinking about it, we might want to sell some stuff first. Cause ah no no no, we will have Veronica travel with us to the to the shop. We're not gonna say goodbye to her immediately. All right, let's go to the elder, Elder McNamara, Robert McNamara. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. That's uh, the oh uh, is it through here? No, I, I think it's somewhere else. That's the. Uh, <coughs> Secretary of Foreign Affairs, I think, under uh, Nixon and, and Johnson. He's a very, uh, very fascinating guy. He uh, has like a documentary about him. It's called The Fog of War. It's a inter long interview with him. And he was kind of, uh, he kind of changed his mind. He started with the Vietnam War and he kind of changed his um, his mind about that after his career uh, career was over. He was like, okay, maybe we, uh, we did make a mistake in going there. Very interesting documentary, The Fog of War. He gives sort of a couple of tips of how to, uh, yeah, based on his experience as a, as a foreign minister, he says like a 13 sort of things about foreign affairs that uh, diplomacy that are true. We found a gun that disables. Power armor. One of these could defeat the whole brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance, for me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on, I can't listen to this anymore. I found know, the missing he says. patrols. Or <coughs> I did find the, miss find the missing patrols, actually. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised, but we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Okay, fine. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm quite surprised, Veronica, that you have nothing to say about this. Maybe, maybe we have to walk out you of the room. Listen. Ah, here we go. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? There was never any chance. His mind was made up from the start. You just weren't very persuasive. <laughs> I mean... 
That's kind of true. Well, I knew he wouldn't listen to me. That's why we went out of our way to find something that he couldn't ignore. But it didn't make any difference. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Uh, where does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. This is your home and these are your friends. You should stay. Leaving now is your only shot at the future. You're the only one who can make this decision. Uh, that's true, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You're the only one who can make that decision, yeah. Not even a hint, huh? I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are going to get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good. Right about now. Ah, that's sad. Okay. Well, is that the end of uh, Veronica's quest? I think so, right? Hmm. Let's see. I, I have the feeling something else will happen. Feeling we're missing something here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's go outside first, and then we will uh, try to sell some stuff. Oh, hello, hello, boys. You're not gonna attack me, are you? We heard Veronica talking with the elder. We won't stand for this. Deals are strengthened by the challenges they endure. Veronica's questioning did you all a service. I don't care what the big deal is. This isn't, this isn't your place. You're neither head scribe nor elder. Won't stand for what? She plans to respect the elder's decision. You don't have to say go back in your cave. I will cast down your codex and bask in the dying agony of those who hold it dear. <laughs> well, let's do the speech one. Deals are strengthened by the challenges they endure. I mean, that, that, that is true. I mean, uh, that, that's also my sort of philosophy. If you have an ideal, it, it should stand up to reasoning, you know, it should it should stand up to criticism. And uh, it, can, it can still be an ideal, but if there, even if there are argu arguments against it, uh, it, that doesn't mean that it, it can't be your ideal still. But you, you, you do need to face those arguments, you know, that, that's, uh, that's, I think, a, a, a healthy way to go about things. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. <laughs> okay. We heard Veronica talking with you. This okay. Another five. God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's... But they're all I have. Ah, oh, that's, that's her quest. Okay. You still going to travel with me? Yeah. I got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. Okay, come on, let's get out of Good here. Idea. Bonds of steel perk, substantially increasing her armor. Okay. All right. So that's the end of uh, Veronica's little quest. It's uh It's it's a bit sad, I think, but I think Veronica really does have a point. I think the Brotherhood if they stick to their ideals of sticking of, of just, just remaining in this bunker and uh, gathering technology they, they won't survive uh but uh yeah i mean uh, let's hope she uh, she can convince the elder he does he does seem somewhat reasonable so maybe if she stays long enough uh they will she will convince uh, she will convince them mm. let's put up guns a bit speech i don't think we need to put up ever anymore um i guess we could put a block pick to 60 or, or science to 70. I think 75 is needed for some, uh, for like a uh, hard lock terminal. So I think that is useful to put, to put up. And then we will put the uh, lock pick up a bit. Oh, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can grab a perk. Nice. Uh, gunslinger. I think, uh, based on what happened in the, in the Vault 34 last episode, I think Commando might be very nice. But what else is there? Mysterious Stranger. Silent Running. Center of Mass. Purifier. 
50% damage with melee and unarmed weapons? No, we're not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, with Commando. I think that uh, that makes sense. Alright, Veronica, we're gonna sell some stuff. And then I'm, I think I'm gonna leave you to your... Uh, I won't say miserable life, but your, your conflicted life. Alright. Um, let's go up north to the Gunrunners. Uh, and sell some stuff. Uh, we, gunrunners, yep. We also need to, to sneak into their... Uh, into their shop and steal their plants. But first, let's uh, let's sell uh, sell some stuff there. Should we fix it up? Fix fix it up first. Yeah, probably right. Uh, Veronica. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Why don't you just give me everything you have? Uh, Volt 34 security armor and security helmet. Is that worth it uh, to wear? For Jay to wear? I don't think that I don't think it's 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 a bit better than what we have, I think, but not that much. This is damage threshold 10. And this is 12. Uh, and then the Volt 34 security armor is 10. But it will, of course, be a bit more. But I don't, still don't think it's worth it because it looks ugly as well. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we're going to use we're gonna use those to fix up our own armor, I think. Yeah. I think that is worth it. Combat helmet. Damage threshold 2. Is that better than the Volt 34 security helmet? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we could do it like this, I guess. How does the combat helmet look? Uh, I believe really, really uh, more than a little bit silly. <laughs> don't think we will ever wear that one. We might as well sell it. Uh, we have the power armor. Uh, black combat armor we will keep. Yes, okay. How, how about the weapons? We have our 10mm submachine gun, which uh, has been of good use to us. We will fix that one up as much as we can. The 9mm one we can use, I think. Uh, we can sell, I mean. I guess we can fix up this 10mm pestle, but we will, we will sell the rest. Uh, yeah, let's let's fix fix one uh, one up. It'll be worth a bit more, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have assault carbine, carbine, marksman carbine. No, oh, that's that's a very good weapon, actually. We cannot fix it up, I guess. You need a hundred guns for it as well. Are we up to seventy five guns already? Not not quite yet, I think. I think we will sell this uh, these assault carbines. Uh, sniper rifle, I think we will also sell. It is pretty good, but I prefer red slayer. Also because of the strength requirement. Uh, so the Kevin shotgun. Plasma rifle. Maybe we will sell those as well. Pulse gun. Oh, we have the pulse gun. Bonus damage versus robot power armor. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to sell that. I don't care enough. Oh, oh, I got a lot of stuff for you, uh, Vendatron. Welcome, sir Orma. Show me what you have for sale. We'll sell you first the combat helmet and the T uh, 45D power armor. That's already the 2600. Man. <laughs> but does uh, does Veronica now still have power armor, or did we take it away from her? No, no, she still has a set. Okay, nice. She can keep those. You're making me carry the. No, I'm not not making you carry anything. Welcome, sir. We <laughs> are going through as money uh, faster than I thought, actually. Um, weapons, laser rifle, plasma rifle, pulse gun, detonator. I don't know why we have that. Might as well sell it, I guess. Uh, 10 millimeter pistol. We will keep the good one. Sell the less good one. And then that's it already, I think, more or less. <laughs> but we need to uh, go to, uh, to, the, to the Crimson Caravan, I guess, on uh, around the corner. And sell some more stuff. I think that's worth it. And then... Uh, I think after that I'm gonna ask Veronica to uh, to leave and we will head back to Freeside because we have some other quests uh, to turn in and we'll also do some more shady stuff because we will need to rob the gun runners. I don't think Veronica will like that very much and also she's not really a good <laughs> with uh, with that armor on she's not really a good sneaker anyway yes okay I, I think the guy at the Crimson Caravan has quite a bit of money so I think he will be able to sell the remainder of the stuff we have and we might want to buy a good weapon at the gun runners once we have sold everything because we really have a lot of money it might be worth it to buy maybe sleepy time or something that's like a, i think a 10 millimeter um submachine gun which is silenced but that might be very good for jay it is very expensive but i think it might be worth it hello blake hey there you i'm looking to sell some stuff Five thousand caps okay that should be fine i think Let's see, weapons. Yep, you can have the BB gun. You can have the 9mm submachine gun, because we will never use it again. 
You can have the assault carbine, both of them. The marksman carbine you can have. Sniper rifle you can have. I guess we can sell the sturdy caravan shotgun also, right? We don't really need it anymore. 10 millimeter pistol we can keep for now, I guess. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, what else do we have? This stuff we will all keep. This stuff we will also all, all keep. Carton of cigarettes, finance clipboard, camera, pre war money. You can have these cases, you can have these cases. Two ashtrays, I don't know why I have those. <laughs> we also have some ammo. You can have this, you can have these, you can have these. 10 millimeter round, only 12. Huh? Do you have any of those? Oh, we should have bought some at the gun runners. Uh, ammo. 10 millimeter. You got any of those? We could use a lot of them, actually. 10 millimeter round. Yeah, 214. Let's buy, buy them all. I think we will need most of them. 556 would also be nice if you have those. 556 armor piercing. Now they're just the regular ones are fine. Um, and then we will sell you the 12 gauge, the 20 gauge, I guess, also, because we sold the shotgun. 5 millimeters you can have. 9 millimeter round you can have, I guess. Energy cell, yep. Flame of fuel, yep. Microfusion cell, yep. And the six missiles you can have as well. So we only have 10 millimeter and 556. I think that makes sense for now. Uh, items. I think that is most of our stuff sold, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. So, Veronica, do you have any more stuff in your You're inventory? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No. Okay. Let's chat to Veronica. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped, but at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Aww. Thank you for giving me that chance. That's sad. That's sad. Okay, well, Veronica, I'm gonna give you some Why time does everyone always say that? with your uh, with your family. Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Veronica has returned to the 188 trading post. Okay. Okay, Veronica. Veronica is gone. We are on our own again. It's gonna take some getting used to, I think. Because uh, what time is it? Is it already time to sleep? Uh, it's 5, uh, 5 p.m. We can go to the gun runners. Um, yeah, it's gonna get take some getting used to uh, to uh, travel on our own again. But you know, I think uh, I think it's fine. Oh yeah, we can also get back to Freeside and see if um, Ralph. Okay, <laughs> we are we have finished uh, the very very tough quest for Veronica. This pulse gun thing was very very difficult to do, but uh, we uh, we finished it. Veronica has left us again, and now we can get back. To <laughs> it's it's going to take some getting used to, but I guess we can get back to Jay's uh, main job, which is uh, doing CD stuff. <laughs> Sneaking around, uh, stealing things, uh, <laughs> bribing people, things like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, our experience with Veronica is going to stick with him uh, for a while, I think. I think he was, he was impressed. You know, we might have a little arc. <laughs> but I also think that um, he, Jay is now kind of, with, with our experience in Vault 34, Jay is not going to uh, <laughs> head back into uh, full-on combat uh, anytime soon. I think uh, he's had quite enough of that for uh, for uh, for a long time. All right, uh, here are the gun runners. Let's save the game here. So we need to steal some stuff here for Alice McLa McLafferty. We can do that. I could even put on a, uh, a stealth boy if necessary, because I have a few of those. Who's detecting me? Nobody, right? Who's seeing me? Hidden. Okay, nice. Let's head inside. Caution. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that was easy. That was uh, <laughs> that was not smart. We might pop a stealth boy actually. We have quite a few of them. Are we hidden? Not yet. Uh, detected. Detected, hidden. Okay, let's pop a stealth boy. We have plenty of them, right? Eight stealth boy. Should not be able to see me. I hope uh, it doesn't immediately wear off once I go through this door. I don't think it will. No, we're still we're still we're still stealthy. So let's sneak up to the terminal that we need. Hello there. It's pretty, pretty 
tricky stuff, but uh, activate Gunrunner Terminal. Download manufacturing specifications, yes. Vendatron naming. Seriously, can we stop calling the Vendatron a Vendatron? Let's give the thing a proper name like Bob. We're not calling it Bob. <laughs> okay, please, please come up with something decent. Uh, can we carry an order 772? Missile launcher 7, missiles 200. We'd like this order expedited if possible. The situation at the dam requires it. Persona non grata, one of the caravan guards identified as Robert Wilson. He decided it would take fu be funny to take a shot at our Vendatron. He's lucky he didn't get a 308 through his idiot skull. <laughs> We're currently negotiating with McLafferty for reparations, but in the meantime, we need to update the Vendatron's recognition software to filter out all Crimson Caravan employees. Okay. We'll also need to pull some string strings over with McCarran to get them temporarily barred from purchasing ammo, ammo there as well. Okay. Are we still... Um, we're still in a... St stealth Boy is still working. Okay, nice. We will sneak back. I don't know how long a Stealth Boy normally lasts, but I hope we can at least uh, still get out, out the gate before it uh, before it ends. Nice. That was easier than I thought, actually. I thought we might have to pop another Stealth Boy. I, I didn't quite know if it uh, if it would uh, stop once uh, once you open a door or do another action. But uh, I guess it, it doesn't, so that's nice. Very good. Okay, so that's one thing we did for Alice McLeffity. What else did we have for her? And uh, yeah, convince Henry Jameson, negotiate with Cass to buy Cassidy Caravans. Yeah, the Cassidy Caravan thing, I don't, don't think we'll do that anytime soon. But we also had some some work to turn in for, uh, yeah, Francine. And we needed to recruit that sex bot, yeah. So <laughs> so we need to go to Ralph at Mick and Ralph's. Or Mick at Mick and Ralph's, one of the two. <laughs> and see if he's finished with that program. And then we could also... Uh, I think we might do that before we head down to the Atomic Wrangler. Is, uh, is, is recruit that sex bot. Let's, uh, let's turn on the music again, actually. It's been a bit, uh, been a bit quiet. Oh, here's Mick and Ralph's. I, well, I didn't even have to get lost. <laughs> Surely he's done by now. I think we, uh, it's, it's been weeks <laughs> since, we, uh, since we last saw him. Hello there. Pimping ain't easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent... Uh, is the holotape ready yet? Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal. All right, thanks for stopping in. Let's head back to the uh, to the sex spot then. Eh? <laughs> uh, to the this one, yeah, Wang Dang Atomic Tango. I hope this is the right one then. I think it is. All right, Jay is back, doing what he loves, convincing people, uh, shooting people. Oh, this is not the right way. Oh. You idiot. You do have a nice hat, though. Search free side tuck. Sheriff's hat. Hmm. Nice. We'll take that. Fairly sure it's like around the corner here somewhere. Past the old Mormon fort. But I don't really know. So about the Veronica quest. I don't really know if she's happier with the other outcome than she is with this one. I really don't know. But I think uh, we uh, we did say, okay, you, it's, it's your choice. You have, to, you have to make it yourself. And I think that's fair. Uh, she does have to make it herself. I don't think it should be uh, up to us if she wants to stay or go. That, that should be... Uh, hello. Ratting with boy. I thought you were attacking me. Can't have that. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it should be up to us what she does. I think she has to make her own choice in that. And uh, So we let, her, we let her do that and, and her choice was to uh, stay with the Brotherhood. So we, we have to respect that. You know, the, uh, we, we would have respected it either way. You know, if she would have said, okay, I prefer to go to, to the followers of the, of the apocalypse, we would have also said, that's fine. Uh, Jay, I guess, well, I mean, Jay, he likes Veronica, right? So I don't think I, uh, he, would, he wouldn't care either way. He would care. He would, he would just say, okay, whatever makes you happy, Veronica. He doesn't, uh, doesn't care one way or the other in, in that sense. Uh, he's not a big fan of the followers. But then again, he's not really a big fan of the Brotherhood either. <laughs> Judging from uh, all the, uh, the stuff we stole from them. Let's see if the the, uh, the rats inside are still dead. If not, we might have to do another rat sweep. And now we have Rat Slayer to do it. So uh, that should be easy enough. No, oh, the rats are back. Yep, there they are. They're not all back. It's like only only one or two. Okay. 
Yeah, I saw it came. You don't need to zoom in on a rat. Come on. <laughs> yes, you done? Thank you. All right, uh, let's just kill the other rats as well. Because uh, otherwise the robots we activate will just attack them, right? <laughs> Jay, Jay is coming in here a little bit more confident than he, he was before. Well, that's it, I think. Let's head back to the, the robot. We've already been here before, so we only need to upload the... The, uh, the, the mechanism, the, uh, the, the program. So let's do that. Uh, upload programming routine. Upload Ralph Sackbot routine. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. That's a mouthful. Let's shorten that to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I am programmed for. My pleasure is for you to work at the Atomic Wrangler. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Report to the Atomic Wrangler. James Garrett is your new owner. Yes, sir. All right, done. Nice. James Garrett will be happy. We, uh, we and then probably uh, Francine Garrett will be happy as well. They probably wondered where I've been all this time <laughs> because they haven't uh, they haven't seen me in uh, in a week or two weeks. But we are back on the strip and it feels good. We might help the boomers out at some point, but I, I don't think we are in a, in a rush to do that. I think we will just uh, progress in the in the in the main quest uh, until we need to. And uh, it's good that we met them already. I think that is uh, that is good. Uh, we uh, we should eat something. Do we have something to eat? Eight. Uh, do you have still a nice ramen steak or whatever it was? Yeah, food ramen steak. Let's have one. We can handle a bit of rats now, eh? <laughs> We've been to Vault 30, through Vault 34. We almost died of radiation poisoning. <laughs> Let's head down to uh, the Atomic Wrangler. And I think uh, in the morning we might also pay a visit to uh, to uh, the Van, uh, Van Graffs. Because I think uh, from what Jay's heard of these guys, they, uh, they, they run a tight ship, you know? They, uh, they probably uh, have some money. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe not uh, morally uh, very, uh, very nice, but uh, eh, Jay doesn't care about that kind of thing. All right. We will Good day. Hand, hand in our stuff. Hello, Francine. Welcome back. Uh, I'm looking for a little. I think I have all of the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. Uh, I have some other bu business. And how am I supposed to get to the strip? See the king. I have some other business to attend to. Just later. bring back his hat if you. I doubt much of that'll be on him if you find him. If you kill him, keep whatever's on. All right. He owns two thousand caps. Uh, and then we have, of course, James Garrett. Welcome back. What the uh, I found that sex box you, you, you were looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. <laughs> Seems like maybe a robot would be worth more, you think? First, I'd like to discuss payment. This wasn't a cakewalk. Hey, I'm amazed you even found... Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetish... Pisto is already programmed to respond to your commands. It is? It will? My God, imagine the possibilities. <laughs> it didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. <laughs> oh, James Garrett. Oh, here is uh, Beatrix. Hello. Howdy. How are you finding? Uh, how are you finding your, your job here, man? Pretty good, it seems. All right. Um, I think Jay is gonna head to sleep. I think uh, Veronica is gone, but uh, Jay has still plenty of work to do over here in uh, in the strip. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and we will uh, see each other in the morning. So Jay, bid you good night, and uh, see you next time. Bye. -bye. Oh, <laughs> we need to uh, re-rent the room, I guess. <laughs> Is this Francine? Hello, Francine. My, my Welcome man. back. Um, I'd like a room. Here you go. 
Thank you. Good day. <laughs> All right. I don't know where uh, where she uh, she went off to, but uh, at least we uh, we have our room. So once again, Jay says goodbye, and uh, we will work for the other uh, CD businesses in Freeside in the morning. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, good night.